Hello crafty friends and welcome to today's Stamping September video. Today I'm going to do some simple stamping for you. I've got a stitched rectangle panel of smooth white cardstock, that's the piece of paper on the left, and I've got another piece of paper 5cm wide which I'm putting in my stamp platform to act as a fake wall or fake edge. It just allows me to make sure my panel stays in exactly the right place while also allowing me to stamp away from the hinge of the stamping platform because sometimes stamps get a bit squashed near the hinge and I didn't want that to happen with my stamping today. So I've chosen an outline flower stamp that I want to stamp in black like a silhouette. So I put it on my panel just to see how much space it was going to take up and where I wanted to put my paint swipe stamp because I wanted my silhouette flower to be situated on top of some paint swipes. This is a silicone stamp, I've never used it before so I prepared it by going over it with a sand eraser. This just prepares the surface, it keys the surface and makes it take ink a little better. For my inks today, I'm using Catherine Pula inks from the Spa Collection. I've got Hot Tub and Skylight. So what I did was stamp my paint swipe twice in Hot Tub and then I added Skylight to the bottom half of the stamp and used a sponge finger dauber to just soften the line on the stamp so that Skylight wasn't going to leave a hard edge. So each paint swipe is hot tub with a little bit of Skylight on top. So it's a bit of an ombre. So once I'd got my first paint swipe stamped, I then did it twice more, once above and once below. You could obviously use paint and a paintbrush for this or even ink and a paintbrush, but I like the repetition having the exact swipe repeated three times. And you wouldn't get that if you did it with a paintbrush. But that's a look if that's what you like. Next I stamped my flower. Again this is a silicone stamp. I didn't bother preparing the surface for this because I was going to stamp it in black and my go-to black ink for silicone stamps is Stazon which is solvent based so it really sticks well to silicone stamps so they don't need any preparation really. So I stamped that twice in black and then after I'd let it dry a little bit I tipped on some talcum powder. I'm trialling using talcum powder as my anti-static powder for heat embossing. I usually use corn flour or corn starch but I thought I'd have a go with some talcum powder because we had some lying around from another project and I didn't want to let it go to waste. So I dusted my panel with the talcum powder, stamped twice with embossing ink, dipped it in clear embossing powder, then heated it with my heat tool. And this gave me a lovely, clean, bold, black, shiny, slightly dimensional image. Once that was cooled and set, I used Tape Runner to attach my panel to a card blank. And I am denied about giving this a sentiment because I really like the way it looked. But in the end, I defaulted to my always add a sentiment state and stamped just a note on a piece of card, heat embossed it as I'd done the flower, cut it out with a stitched rectangle die and then glued it to the front of my card. But do let me know what you think. Would you add a sentiment to this card or would you have left it without a sentiment? I think it works either way. Part of me is thinking I wish I hadn't added it now because I think it looked really nice without but you let me know what you think. Right that's it, that's this card and this video finished. 
I hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you an idea of something you can do with things that you already have in your stash. If it has, please leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the bell and I'll see you back here very soon for another Stamping September video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.